What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we had quite a bit of fun with Kay in the rec room, and I want to thank, uh, Scary Purple Ampersand, is that your username? Oh, I should really, I should really check this before the video starts, but, um, thank you so much for clarifying in the previous episode how the game hinted at, uh, the intended, the escape route password order for the darts and the small the red had to be smaller than the, the green or the blue or whatever it was um it was the size of the dart boards themselves were actually smaller and at first i was like what because i think i was just so fixated on the inequality signs after realizing those were on the glass that i didn't think to look for another modality of increasing or or you know indicating some relationship of size uh but it was actually right in front of my face and so that's um that's very, a lot more reasonable than I gave it credit for. So thank you for explaining that. Um, and also, it's been a few days since I've played the game. It's actually been about a week, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about. And that's just because uh, recording conditions are getting a little bit slimmer at my house. So we'll see how much I can record, but I'm trying to find the pockets of time I can. So uh, thank you for your patience as uploads don't necessarily come out as consistently or at the you know same time they usually do but i'm gonna try and still get it daily but anyways interesting says k what is this place a warehouse hey look over there those doors are white shall we have a look then that's right we had uh, some quality time with k and alice are these chromatic doors too they're all the same, though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So these will be the next doors to open. We should go let the others know. Right. Alright, so off we go. Alice and I turned to go, but Kay stayed put. Is something wrong? Yeah, you seem awfully deep in thought. No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here, only somewhere very similar. That is pretty interesting, given he's lost, you know, a vast majority of his memories. And the other thing to consider is, is this a proper memory, or is it a premonition, or sort of tapping into a consciousness from another timeline, right? You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Ah, yes, that's right. Is it going to be Dio again that rushes everybody? Forty-five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh, and, and I'm curious to see what happened with Quark, right? Temyoji was literally carrying Quark. His Quark uh, was not doing so hot with this past chromatic door. What the heck? Someone else must have opened one of the AV gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. Yikes. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah. Let's get going, guys. I, I would not be, I would be very surprised if it wasn't Dio again, right? Dio is the type of person to do this, now that we've got a better kind of grip on what his personality is. It'll be interesting to see how the interaction goes this time around. And we were paired with Alice, right? This I think this will be our first time voting with Alice, not against Alice. So I'm curious to see how that dynamic works.
Sigma. Sigma. Where's Temyoji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Oh. So then, well, I actually, I don't mean, I don't remember the teams that well. So I don't remember who Temyoji and Quark were with, but... Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. Classic. I tried to stop him, but... Come on, it's not like when we open the door it really affects the matches, right? It's cool. Really, Dio? Just gonna try to play it off so nonchalantly like that? Of course it matters! This isn't a really important decision, it has a drastic impact on people's lives, literally! And so... At the very least, making sure everybody can participate if they want to is like the bare minimum. No, it's not cool! We don't even know where the other group is! If they've even made it out of their chromatic door yet. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your own investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Oh, so we have access to the treatment center this timeline, which is going to be good to know. Treatment center? How is that different from the infirmary? There were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, alright? I don't feel like explaining it. So here's another thing that's going to be interesting. We haven't gone through the whole analysis of Quark and the, you know, dive into... What was it? Radical 6? The virus? But in the previous timeline, when we did have access to the treatment center, what essentially happened, I think Quark was one of the people who investigated the treatment center, and thus pocketed some of the Excelivir, and we only found it when picking up Quark's body. Uh, however, that's not going to be the case here, right? Dio, Phi, and Clover all looked at the treatment center. So which of them found the Excelivir, and did any of them pocket it, right? Because if we know that they had access to the treatment center, we look at the treatment center, we don't find any Excelivir, but none of them claim to have found it, then... Well, that's pretty sus for one of those three, right? Anyways, Dio says, I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, so now here's probably going to be that explanation about the Excelivir, right? Huh? What are you talking about? You did! I saw it too! Ooh! After we open the safe, you grab something out of it and put it in your pocket. Dio is just acting like more and more of a jerk as time goes on. Show us what you took. Uh, get away from me. Somebody's got to, you know, dial up Temyoji, smack some sense into Dio. Clover shoved her hand into Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go. So this is really interesting. Is this gonna be the body search for the other timeline, right? There was the other timeline where it was like, Fi was like, you know, we're gonna search through everybody's body, etc., and see if they have, I think it, what was it, the passcode or the other bottle of Excelivir or, I don't even remember what they were looking for to be honest, but they were looking for something really important. Is this gonna be the unintentional find of that incriminating evidence? Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! An injection gun? The lib on the vial says Neostigmine. Interesting. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but... I'm... Oh, it's been a while since I've thought about it. But... I'm pretty sure... What... What use would he have for that? Maybe is like an antidote for some some poisoning of like a like a pesticide or, or something. I don't I don't know. Dang, I need to review. But without Luna here, we probably won't get that answer. Maybe Phi will know, because Phi seems to know a little bit of everything at least. I don't know, but 
I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Yeah, I mean, if you were to give it to somebody who's normal, not in the context of, like, trying to counteract some other drug they've been given, uh, that would not be a very pleasant experience. Give it back! I thought it was gonna have Excelivir as well, but it has Neostigny. I found it, so it's mine! Hey! With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover, but before she had a chance to protest... <sighs> wow. So here come Luna and Temyoji, sprinting because, of course, Dio rushed them. <laughs> have any of you seen Quark? Wait, what? They don't have Quark? Did they they must have unlocked the door and then Quark sprinted or something. Anyone, please. Uh Quark? Did something happen to him? Well, yeah, don't you remember everything? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but we still haven't been in that pantry, have we? After we left, he just Disappeared. Uh oh. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. You think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? What? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. What? Why such a grim statement in such a situation? What reason do we think he ha for him to be dead? Unless Dio is that confident he killed himself, right? Nobody else is likely to have killed him given that we're all here. And those two, Luna and Temyoji, were the only ones with Quark when he was eventually released. So, I don't know. We've already found one corpse, right? What the heck is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there, just saying it's a possibility. But the way you presented that is not just saying. And even if you are just saying something, the way you say it matters so much. And uh, that was grossly offensive. Well, even if it is, we should all be looking for him. I'm still trying to think. The Neostigmine. I think... Oh, you know what? Um, that should be able to help with reversing anesthesia. I don't know if Soparil... I don't know Soparil Beta's mechanism of action. But Neostigmine could probably be used to wake somebody up out of the anesthesia. Why would Dio take that? Because nobody's been anesthetized right now. The only reason I can think of is is Dio intends to use Sopro Beta and wants to make sure other people don't have the ability to reverse that anesthetic, should it come down to it. Which again is not looking good for Dio. Anyways, well, even if it is, we should all be looking for him. Yes. As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned and headed toward the magenta door. Why was Alice looking at the corner of the warehouse? Did she notice something on the walls? Hmm... Is this going to be a branch point where we look in a few different locations and find Quark a little bit too late? So maybe, like Alice in the other timeline, we try to find him earlier and catch him before he kills himself or something like that? So we stop by the lounge. Quark! Are you in here? Guess not. Darn. Let's try floor B then. You can also tell it's very intentional that they introduce, you know, one emergency immediately after this question of why does Dio have the so adamant about holding onto the injection gun with Neostigmine, right? 
would he want to wake someone up that had previously been anesthetized? Hmm. Temyoji's team took the red door. I'm thinking, is that lady that we saw, we confirmed she was dead, right? Because the only other thing I'm thinking of is maybe she was heavily, heavily anesthetized and Dio intends to wake her up? Secretly? I don't know. Temyoji's team took the red door. They've probably already started searching that area pretty thoroughly then. Maybe I'll try the blue door. I think the red door is the one with the pantry. So we head back to the rec room. Where are we gonna find Quark? I don't see him here. Quark! Where are you? He's not here either. Where the heck did he go? It's kind of interesting because we don't even really have a choice right now. Ah, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. I can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind, if you found him, you'd have said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center as well as the floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Interesting. I, I was expecting maybe he would be in the treatment center and be in one of those pods. But is he going to end up in the crew quarters like Alice did? Oh well. Let's head back to the Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Yeah, it's a good point. Well, did you find him? Sorry. We couldn't find him anywhere. I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? I'm trying to think, maybe he's in one of the Ambidex rooms, right? We don't know how that body got in there before, but it's possible for a body to end up in there. Yeah, we're it. I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either? Yeah. No clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small enclosed space. Well, wouldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Unless he's in a soundproof room. Right? Like those Ambidex game rooms. Quark. Quark. Poor Temyoji. Temyoji's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we'd met. I could see tears glistening at the corners of his eyes. For just a moment I saw in them all of this, all of his pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart in a vi in a vice. Vice? Vice? Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Is he holding Quark? Hey! You guys, come here! Dio? What are you standing around for? They're in the crew quarters! What? Just come on! So it turns out Quark is in the crew quarters. Or, wait, they. Is Alice also there? Because we know that Alice is likely to, you know, have this be the second person to have the symptoms and all that. Whoa, wait, what? Sonna. What? Uso. No, Luna's dead too? What? How? Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. 
So Alice is dead. We can't, because of the hair, we can't really see if there's a scalpel or a knife or something. But Luna is dead too. That's what's particularly odd, and it looks like she's holding an injection gun. Which is also pretty odd, right? Um, because Luna did not explore the treatment center. She might have had something from the infirmary? But she would have had to have independently, very quickly recognized that Excelivir was necessary to cure their Radical Six. And want, and then get the injection gun and administer the medication. Or she recognized that they needed to be sedated and found Soporil Beta and an injection gun really quickly and then tried to do that. Huh. Anyways, there was roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible, and the entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. So here's going to be another question. If whatever we find in her chest... Is that going to be the same weapon that was used to kill that other lady? I forced myself to swallow the stinging lump in my throat and turn toward Luna. Poor Luna. Unlike Alice, at first glance she seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what I would find, but pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. A red mark near her jawline. I mean, I would think maybe somebody intentionally directed, you know, injected something in her carotid. That seems very, you know, targeted. And a lot of people, that isn't, you know, isn't exceptional like medical knowledge. But it almost makes it seem like Luna did it to herself. Huh. Huh. And Sigma doesn't find a pulse, so I don't think it's likely that the Neostigmine was injected. And then the other question is, where did this other injection gun come from? They're... they're dead. My god. What on earth happened here? And where is Quark? That Baka killed them. Who? Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the AV room. You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. For what it's worth, we know from the other timeline that Alice very well could have killed herself, because she's presumably also been infected by Radical Six in this timeline, and we didn't really see the onset of her, you know, crazy symptoms and uh, suicidal tendencies, but we know that it's very likely they could have happened from our experiences in the other timeline. Which makes this situation more perplexing, because what Fi is saying is, oh, one of them was, you know, it, there's a possibility that one of them was the intended target, and whoever the murderer is had to kill the other person to keep them quiet. But if one of the targets really just wanted to kill themselves, then... then what, right? <laughs> or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. That's pretty far-fetched. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. She's wearing clothes? <laughs> no sign of struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? Possibility, but it would be tough to carry Alice without getting any blood. Similarly, if Luna were to have fought with Alice, it would be very difficult for, you know, there to be no blood on her either. No, if that were the case, there would be much less blood. 
I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer is one of us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well... Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two as well as the old woman? Hmm... It's a good question. Again, I still, I still think Alice killed herself in this timeline. So the real mystery to me at the moment... I mean, that's far from confirmed, for what it's worth. Uh, is, is how Luna got caught up in it. And it looks like she's holding the injection gun... How did, how did she end up injecting herself? Or did somebody inject her with something and then put the injection gun in her own hand, right? Oh, give me a break. How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. Yeah, Dio... <laughs> It seems like Dio is just trying to introduce chaos into this game, right? Like, his actions with the AB room, and the injection gun, and, and now this, it seems like he's stirring the pot. <laughs> you do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse, then you kill Alice and Luna? You pretend to be the first to find them, and... Are you saying I did this? And in classic five fashion, she's gonna be like, No, I'm just saying it's the most likely possibility. I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. And here I was, looking forward to finding out what the dynamic would be voting with Alice. <laughs> but alas, looks like it won't be the case. And of course, now we are posed with the question of do we betray or ally K, right? All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline is passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally. I guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. Who was Luna with? Oh, I guess by process of elimination... Luna was with Temyoji and Quark. Temyoji and Quark were paired. So I guess with that statement, K is somewhat implicating Temyoji and or Quark in the murder of Luna. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. That's an expression I've never heard. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? Yeah, you killed her so you could get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me. Ah, uh, not quite. Even without his partner, Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True, I suppose that is a possibility, and it is a possibility. It seems a little bit slim to me, but... 
But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There's little to no evidence to support any of this. Well, we should probably head back to the warehouse. Yeah, we gotta go vote. We should take their bracelets with us then. Huh? Yeah, I think we'll need them to open the doors, right? Do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. I mean, well, you're pretty worked up, Dio. Too worked up. <laughs> you did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. <laughs> he wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps. <laughs> I love it, Kay. I love the sass. What did you just say? Are you screwing with me? Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. Alice. Oh, poor Clover. Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got 6 BP right now. If you don't vote, you'll automatically ally. And I'd bet my left arm will pick Betray. Yeah, you and me both fight. That'd be 3 points, which will put him at 9. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number 9 door. I'll try and pick ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. This is interesting. This is clearly one of the most chaotic and easily one of the most lethal <laughs> timelines we've been on. And I remember, I think it was in our very first AB game decision, uh, we chose to go against what Fi recommended, and it seemed like she had already seen this timeline and was... Like, well, maybe things will go better than I expect. But she clearly saw how rough this timeline was going to be. And, um, it's playing out. <laughs> Dio, Dio will have nine points? What are you going to do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get 9 points. Good. Let's go. We don't even know that Dio's the killer, but he is so suspicious and he's such a jerk. Like, such a jerk. There's no way I'd want him to be 9, you know, 9 points. Maybe he was planning for his own potential sabotage. Like, he wanted the injection gun with the neostigmine so that if somebody tried to anesthetize him with the Soparel Beta, like we saw happen to Sigma in the other timeline, he would be able to, I guess, get himself before, uh, cure himself before, I don't know, it, he was properly sedated. But anyways, we only have five minutes before the AB game closes. Are we going to find Quark in one of the rooms? I took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at this point I didn't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance to my AB room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You have 5 BP. If we both ally, then you will gain 2 points, leaving you with 7 in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another 2 points, bringing you to 9. 
Yeah, I, I agree that this is the most beneficial setup. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain 3 points for a total of 8. In other words, you will be unable to reach 9BP until the round following this one, no matter what. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but... How many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. If you betray me and get another 3, you could get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. Escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety. As I had only three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have 6 BP, I have some room for error. Why wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as you possibly could? Of course, I would like to. But attempting to do so would be unwise. Why is that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? Yeah, the number 9 door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after 9 seconds, so if you're not careful, you could get stuck. I trust you remember now. So if someone opens it and escapes... Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm, perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, because now, now he, the Sigma's going to be even more alert of the option K has to get into 9 points. Hey, don't tell me you're planning to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. Well, he literally just said he's not planning to, and that's all you're going to have to go off of. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to 9 points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? Well, no, of course we'd stop you. You see? <laughs> that little laugh? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. Very interesting. What are we going to pick, guys? What are we going to pick? I want to pick Ally. Uh, it's probably not surprising to those of you that have watched all the episodes up until this point, but I really want to pick Ally. K seems like one of the most upright... Or just, or I guess, uh, I don't know. Benevolent characters in the game at the moment? I would say K and... Luna is definitely number one, but K is up there as well as somebody who I think is playing the game with other people in mind, you know? The other players in mind, at least. I, I want to choose Ally. I really do. K doesn't seem like the type of person to get ahead of himself, to rush, to panic, to really, you know, take the bait that's immediately in front of him. Or her. And... Uh, I don't think... K would do that. But at the same time, K could be considering, well, Sigma's probably very wary of the fact that I could reach 9 points, and might very well choose Betray. If I don't want to get burnt, I'd have to pick Betray as well. So, actually, it's a little bit rough for K. Well, no, that's why it's a dilemma, right? <laughs>
It's like, from an individual, from a selfish standpoint, it makes the most sense for Kay to choose Betray. Uh, from our purposes, like obviously individually, selfishly, it also makes sense to play Betray. This particular round is a lot more complicated because this might be the last round if we choose incorrectly. There's no guarantee of a second round that is going to be impacted by our decision here that we could be held accountable for. If Kay gets this right, they could get out without any sort of accountability, which complicates things quite a bit. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Kay had made a compelling argument, but I still had to make my choice. Would he really choose to ally? If I chose ally and he chose betray, he'd have nine points and I'd have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never seen? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. You definitely don't need to see somebody to trust them. I've, you know, plenty of, in plenty of internet friends that I've never seen that I trust deeply. Some internet friends I trusted so deeply I actually met them in a different country. That's a fun story. Um, it was a blast. Had a great time. But with K in this particular situation, what's the answer? What's the answer? It really does come down to how much do we trust K. And from my impression of K, I'm... I feel like trusting him. Or her. I don't know. Part of it is that, you know, I'm a player of this game and my life isn't truly on the line, so maybe if I were actually in this situation I would be more tempted to pick Betray than I do now. There is the reality of we could stop K. Could we though? Right? We only- we were stopped in one timeline with Soper Elbeta. We stopped Fi in another timeline by convincing her to stay, but... How would we stop K? Right? K's armored. <laughs> so, I really don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna pick ally. I like to think about it, and then when that countdown happens and that option, I just, I just gotta go for it. I don't want to sit on that screen and think forever. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gate's now opening. Oh man, I don't... I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I am... I'm super eager. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Will they though? Because I thought that they were going to be displayed in the next episode. Sorry, both to myself and to you guys for this cliffhanger. But wow, what an episode, right? Everything going on with, you know, Quark, Dio rushing the Ambidex game. Everybody spreading out, Alice dying, Luna dying as well, the whole injection gun with Neostigmine being hidden by Dio. Very interesting. Uh, a lot going on. And then this AB game with K. I really have no idea how this is going to go. I like to think K is trustworthy. I would like to think K is trustworthy. But it's tough, because, right, all of my interactions with K have led me to think that they're trustworthy. But the very first AB game, they voted Betray. They voted Betray. That said, the argument of, well, I have a little bit of a cushion now, right? I have leeway for error, uh, does resonate with me. And I think in that situation, I too would also be more willing to make myself vulnerable in the AB game if I had more of a cushion to spare. So, we'll see. But I hope you guys are looking forward to these results just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.